Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 8th of September. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will stay dry through tomorrow. Maybe a few scattered showers later this week and a lot to talk about in the tropics. So let's dive in. Here's the upper air look across the country this morning. This is based on the upper air balloon data from last night. You can see that very deep trough digging down into the Rockies. And that's going to bring that big snowstorm for our friends in Denver today. But here things are awfully quiet. That was a radar composite this morning at 448. Nothing happening across the state. Again, most spots are in the 60s. Birmingham warmer because of the old urban heat island effect. Birmingham at 70. Highs today in most spots in the upper 80s, maybe 90 on the western side of the state. There's the watch warning map. And ooh, look at all of the winter storm warnings in effect for parts of Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, even northern New Mexico. Freeze warnings in effect for many states out there as well. Of course, out in the west, the red flag warnings up because of the wildfire danger. It's their wildfire season in uh, states like California, Nevada, and Oregon. No severe weather expected across the country today. Same thing tomorrow. And quite frankly, the same thing on Thursday. There could be a clap of thunder in spots, but uh, organized severe weather, not a problem. Here's the rain for the next five days. This is valid through Sunday. Heavier totals west of the state but numbers are coming up here uh, this is suggesting rain amounts through sunday about one half to one inch for much of the state and we will begin to see scattered showers by uh, thursday and friday but probably nothing too heavy or widespread okay tropical fans three items on the board two tropical storms in the central and eastern atlantic and a wave that is off the east coast of the united states first off that uh, wave which is not too far off the East Coast, which, by the way, is Invest 94L. The Hurricane Center giving it a 40% chance of becoming a depression or storm within the next five days. This is modeling on Invest 94. And again, you can see the uh, models generally bring it toward the coast of North Carolina uh, within 48 to 72 hours, probably just a big rain producer. Uh, some of the guidance uh, members bring it up to a tropical storm, some don't. But again, uh, the main effect would be rain for parts of eastern North Carolina, uh, really not affecting Alabama. So let's go deeper into the tropics. This is Paulette. This is the lead tropical storm out there about uh, 44 west. Uh, Hurricane Center does not bring this to hurricane strength, and they begin to uh, show the system gaining latitude over the weekend. Uh, passing far north of the Leeward Islands, and typically when they get up there in that zone, they, they recurve. Not always, but they typically do. Look at uh, modeling. This is the European Ensemble, and there's a pretty big spread in the members on Paulette. Uh, you got one outlier that brings it pretty close to the Outer Banks. The mean, which is the black line, shows a recurve far, far east of the United States. We think that's the most likely path at this point. You always want to stick with that mean. Uh, this is a look at the intensity guidance for Paulette, and like the Hurricane Center suggests, this probably stays under hurricane strength, although there are a couple of outliers. Now, this is the trailing system. This is Renee in the far eastern Atlantic, and uh, this will uh, likely become a hurricane for a while, then weak into a tropical storm as the system turns north around uh, 40 west. Here's a look at the modeling from the European, the uh, northward turn uh, showing up nicely there, and the intensity guidance. You can see that little window to become, to become a hurricane, then it weakens back to a tropical storm because of sheer and dry air. Bottom line is, most likely, Renee stays far, far east of the United States. Paulette recurves east of the United States, uh, which is a good thing, and the Gulf of Mexico stays quiet. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06C run at 4 o'clock today, and look at that big old bowling ball over Utah and Colorado, deep up or low. That's going to dynamically cool the atmosphere big time out there, and again, they'll see snow today. But for us, mostly sunny for the northern half of the state, highs 87 to 90 in most locations, maybe a few isolated showers down south, but probably not many. Same thing tomorrow, mostly sunny, 87 to 90. And then Thursday, we'll bring in the chance of a few scattered showers by afternoon. Again, nothing really widespread or heavy. 
Highs mid to upper 80s. And the same thing on Friday. Partially sunny, a few scattered afternoon showers or storms. That'll be the theme for the weekend. This is Saturday and this is Sunday. And understand, that doesn't mean it's just going to rain all weekend, but there will be a few scattered showers and storms around. They'll be random. We can't tell you now exactly when and where it's going to rain. The better chance during the afternoon and evening hours and highs for the weekend, probably mid-80s. Again, a mix of sun and clouds both days. Same thing Monday, and this is Tuesday of next week, the 15th. A little upper low north and west of the state. And again, we stay in that moist air. Uh, the, the cold air that is uh, filtering down into the Rockies just will not make it down here. Typically, the first good front of the season for us comes in late September, so it's a little early for that to happen. We'll go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 17th. Ridging beginning to build over the central U.S. That's going to warm our friends in Denver up. But again, for us, that uh, dry air just north and west of the state. Still a chance of scattered showers if this verifies. Here's the rain for Birmingham from the European Ensemble for the next 15 days. The mean, uh, one to two inches. Some of the members exceed four inches, though. And the numbers, the uh, NBM has been running a little too hot lately. It's got us around 90 through Friday. We'll probably do upper 80s, and then numbers trend downward next week. And the CPC outlook, September 15th through the 21st, suggesting for the northern half of the state, temperatures right at average values. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.